Buckle Yani, chairman of Bharat Forge. Uh, Mr. Kalyani, good afternoon. Uh, uh, you know, first half was not so good, uh, but what's the expectation for second half? Uh, do you get a sense that things have bottomed out? Uh, I can't put a number on it, but uh, I can tell you that uh, exports will be higher than what it was in the first half. Even in the domestic market, uh, we will see a higher revenue. And if you look at uh, the industrial uh, front, that is the non-automotive sector, in both the markets, we expect to see better revenues than the first half. Uh, in, in, the, in the North American market, uh, as the oil prices have come somewhere closer to $50, we are beginning to see, a plus inventory depletion taking place, we are beginning to see some replacement demand for uh, products that are required in uh, shale and other uh, oil and gas exploration. Mr. Kalyani, good afternoon, particularly for the North America truck business. Uh, you know, we've seen a steady fall in the truck sales over the last many weeks and months. Can we expect to see any recovery in, uh, say, say, in the latter half of the year? No, no, you're talking about the October order data that you saw. Uh, that is not the average, that's the October one month data. And in that, uh, you know, normally in October there is uh, this big truck show that takes place in uh, the West Coast. And after the truck show, uh, the new orders come in. So I think what has happened this time is the new orders have probably come in at the level of 20 or 1,000, 18 to 20,000, and there have been cancellations of the old orders. So therefore the net effect has been 11,000. I think uh, the general expectation in North America for Class A trucks is somewhere in the region of 190 to 210,000 for this year. And uh, going forward, uh, I think the general expectation is that uh, after middle of 2017, uh, you will start seeing an increased uh, demand for trucks because then uh, after 2018 uh, will come uh, the new emission standards for which there has to be some pre-buy taking place. Okay, so segment-wise, Mr. Kalyani, where do you see the green shoots in second half? You know, on the truck side, the demand will remain at the same level as we see today. I think on the oil and gas sector and the industrial sector, we definitely see a pickup uh, taking place. Uh, so we will see a pickup in the second half. We will also see uh, some growth in the Pascar business because uh, that's an area that we've been focusing on. And uh, uh, we will see that growth. We will also see growth in the domestic market uh, in these segments. Uh, unfortunately, in this quarter, uh, we anticipated a larger uh, growth in the commercial vehicle business in the Indian market. That didn't happen because of this confusion of GST uh, that has taken place. But hopefully it will happen in the next quarter. The good part is on the margin front, you have been able to maintain or hold your margins at 26 to 27 percent for the last many quarters, despite all the weakness. Uh, will you be able to sustain margins in this range? Yeah, I think so. I think we should be able to do that. We have, we have been very successful in containing our costs, uh, increasing productivity, uh, increasing value addition, putting in new products, so I think uh, we are quite hopeful that uh, we'll be able to do that. Uh, Mr. Kalyani, you mentioned that you added one new client in North America business. What's the current market share and what will you see, what will be the benefit of this new addition? You know, uh, in the commercial vehicle uh, business, uh, we almost have all clients except one. Uh, and uh, that's the last customer that we have added. So basically our overall market share in that segment will go up. Uh, and I think the benefit of this will really come uh, next year when the CV business after middle of 2017 will start increasing. So uh, I think that's, that's the good news on that side. In the domestic market, we have added two new customers on the pas uh, passenger vehicle side. Uh, and I think you know, that largely is the focus that we are putting on uh, passenger vehicles uh, of uh, increasing our business in, in that sector on a global basis. You know, your 
stock has been under a lot of pressure over the last one year purely because investors uh, cannot judge whether the worst is over or whether there's more pain to go. Can you say with any fair degree of certainty that the worst is over for the company in both the auto and the non-auto business? I think uh, rather than saying it for the industry, what I would say is for us as a company, uh, clearly we have bottomed out. And I think going forward, we'll only see positive growth. Uh, I think the rate of that positive growth would largely depend on uh, what happens in this election and election results in North America. Uh, that has a great impact on what's going to happen uh, uh, in the markets out there. Uh, but, you know, hoping for a, a good result, uh, one would expect to see uh, those markets gradually improving. So I think we are clearly seeing bottoming out of the downturn that uh, we were in in the whole of uh, last one year. Okay, some of your clients, uh, large ones like Caterpillar, had scaled down their full year forecasts. Uh, how badly have their businesses been affected and will that continue to impact your business? Yeah, I mean, everybody has, uh, you know, scaled down forecast in, uh, if you're involved in uh, the commodity sectors like oil and gas or in the mining and construction business because those businesses have been uh, uh, really badly affected around the globe. It's not just North America, they're affected around the globe, largely because the pricing levels of these commodities have gone down. Uh, with the price recovery in the oil business, oil and gas prices coming back from you know, the early 20s now to closer to 50, there is some activity pickup taking place. And fortunately, we are well positioned because we have a very large uh, activity in the shale fracking area. And that's the first thing that's going to come back uh, in the oil and gas business because that's the easiest one uh, uh, to get to. So we are seeing uh, traction in that area. In the uh, areas of construction equipment, I think it's still uh, some quarters away uh, to see traction. I think we will see more traction in the Indian marketplace uh, in this sector very soon because of all the new highway contracts and you know the increased mining sector activities that have started in this area. Okay, so since you are more optimistic for the domestic business, what would be a realistic growth in the domestic business in the second half of the year? I think in the domestic market, it would be safe to say in the second half uh, should be at least 10 to 12% better in the CV uh, sector than the 